Good day, and thanks for joining us for another tech tip with the e-learning team. Today, we're talking about digital whiteboards and other similar collaboration tools you can use to enhance your courses. Tracy? Thanks, Dan. I really like how using interactive digital whiteboards are really just, they're a heavy hitter getting at a lot of areas for that online learning experience, making it more comparable to a face-to-face -face learning experience. There are a number of pieces that work really well with it. One of the ones that I like to use a lot are Google Slides, where you can create your presentation ahead of time and just put out, again, just those bullet points, just like you would uh, your talking points on the PowerPoint slide, have the settings set so anyone can edit and share that link with your students. Then during your synchronous lecture, it can fulfill a number of things. During the lecture, you can direct people to different slides to add information. Following the lecture, students can download that, or again, they can just go back to that link and they've got their class collaborative notes. And then people who may not have been able to attend or perhaps they were on a mobile device where they couldn't navigate the multiple windows or contribute can add their work to it at a later time. So really by just organizing the Google Slides template or other tools that we'll talk about later in this presentation, you've got that interactivity live during the lecture, whether it's high flex, in-person, or completely um, you know, synchronous for meeting but everybody online. Some things you're gonna wanna consider also when you choose the tools from what we'll share here today and other tools you may have heard about is, are you using the whiteboard to support a recorded lecture? So if you using it alone, or are you choosing your tool so that it's something that you're using the whiteboard with with a small group, or is it something that you're going to be using with a larger class? And those are just some of the parameters that as you listen to these tools, think to yourself, which one of these will work the best? I think Kelly, you had an extension on Google Slides with something else that they create. Yes, thank you, Tracy. Uh, yeah, another tool that's in the Google Suites is called Jamboard. And that works very much like the Google Slides, the Google Sheets, the Google Docs. And all it is, is you go in there, you can name your new Jamboard, whatever you would like to name it for your class. And then it, you can share it with a link, just like you would any of those other Google ones, where you just share a link and everybody can then access that. You can be sharing your screen in the Zoom. And while other people are accessing that, they can see the live different editions. So it works very much like a whiteboard with, say, um, sticky notes that you want to have everybody do brainstorming, or maybe you want them to answer a question, or maybe you want them to ask questions on certain topics. So you can really organize it however you would like it to look and then have everybody kind of add in and you can all work live on that collab collaboratively and it's a open source. Um, Rhonda, you had another idea that also works great. Yeah, similar to Jamboard is Padlet. I use Padlet and the reason why I like using it is because it's real easy and intuitive. So the learning curve is very, is right there. It's just one click, drag and drop. And also your work is auto saved. But it's wonderful for collaboration because students don't need to sign up and you can give administrative you know, access to anyone. So anyone could be in charge of posting and, and you know, responding and so on. And you can have an unlimited number of students that are, you know, that are involved with the whiteboard. It supports all kinds of file types, which is really nice, you know, so you can upload images, you can, you can embed videos from YouTube, you know, the Adobe suite and there, the apps can be downloaded to any kind of a device. So in terms of creating a real visual dialogue, using something like Padlet is is outstanding to really engage students and facilitate collaboration. Thank you. Uh, the final tool we wanted to highlight is Canvas Studio. Now everybody knows about Studio, but not as many folks know that it has some drawing options which act as kind of a whiteboard overlay on the screen uh, that you might be using screen capture for. So um, fire that up just like you would uh, uh, screen recording. Uh, and you'll have on the toolbar an arrow that'll give you access to the drawing options, which uh, appear generally as a toolbar at the top of that screen that you're recording on. You can point to things, highlight things, uh, very similar options to the whiteboard you might see in Zoom or Teams. Uh, now that's most useful for 
individually, uh, recording your lectures and whatnot. And uh, students, don't forget, also have full access to Studio. So they can record similar things as uh, assignment submissions, whether individually or as a team. Uh, the links to all these tools are going to be in the video description, so check those out and be sure to join us for more tech tips in the future.